In this demonstration, I will show you how to set up a magnetic simulation inside ANSYS A. We start by selecting the magnetic template. And in this particular example, I will start by creating a brand new geometry in the integrated CAD interface. Using the integrated direct CAD modeler, creating geometry is easy. I can sketch and pull to create a cylindrical magnet. Creating a second sketch plane allows me to, to create the other parts that I need. In this case, I'll create a rectangular plate. Finally, in order to do a magnetic simulation, we need an airbox. In SS AIM, we're able to create an airbox by selecting the enclosure option and assigning a certain boundary distance from the edges. Once the geometry is ready, we can move on to setting up the simulation. The main part of a permanent magnet simulation is assigning the materials. Here we're assigning different materials to different parts of our analysis. We have the air, the iron plate, as well as a permanent magnet in, defined as a cylinder behind the plate. The default magnetic material NDFE30 has a pulling direction aligned with the x-axis. So in order to realign the magnet properly, we will create a local coordinate system such that the pulling at local x-axis is aligned with the direction of the magnet. The magnetic template inside AIM allows you to request force and torques at different locations. Here they're flagged with the red exclamation mark. So what we do here is we select the volume from which we want to calculate both the force and torque. The magnetic simulation inside AIM uses an adaptive mesh refinement technique to ensure accuracy. Here we're trading off and selecting an accurate simulation, although it will take a little bit longer to solve. Although the simulation did not converge to the desired level of accuracy, we will accept the results for this demonstration. In the future, it's possible to increase the number of mesh adaption steps in order to get a more accurate result. Once the simulation is complete, click on the result block. This will allow you to take a look at the force and torque calculations, as well as plot things like magnetic field intensity vectors. In permanent magnet simulations, it is common for engineers to be interested in the force displacement curve of the magnet as you move it towards or away from the target. ANSYS AIM allows us to set up a fully parametric simulation where we can define the distance between the magnet and the target as a parameter, and in this case I also define the thickness of the target as a parameter. Creating a parameter involves clicking on the P button beside the measured distance value. Here we're changing the name of the parameter so that it's a little bit more obvious on what it's measuring. Once we've defined input parameters in the geometry, we can also define output parameters. Here I'm picking the force calculation value. Under the, beside the value, it's possible to click on the P icon, which allows us to again define it as an output parameter. With ANSYS AIM, you can define as many or as few parameters as you want. We support full multi-objective optimization with multiple parameters for both input and output. There are a wide range of design op optimization as well as design exploration 
packages available with AIM. What I picked here is a response surface-based design optimization. This allows me to select an lower and upper bound for each input parameter, and ANSYS will generate a design of experiment matrix for me. Once the simulations have been completed, we can take a look at the response surface calculated from the data. The response surface is based on a minimum set of data, however, ANSYS has the ability to automatically generate verification points. This ensures that the response surface is generated is an accurate representation of the system behavior. Inserting these verification points back into the response surface calculations provides us with a much more accurate response surface. With an accurate response surface, we're able to probe the results. We're able to now predict the force on the magnet for any given gap distance as well as plate thickness. Thank you.